Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another Danville upgrade today. Guys, sorry about the wait on this one, but I have to say you guys destroyed the light goal on the last Danville upgrade, which was the apartment building that Jack built. And today we're going to be back again doing another one of Jack's creations. However, I'm not really sure if I should call this one a creation because it is unfinished. We're going to be doing the unfinished library by so many flamingos today. So this one's going to be a lot different than pretty much all the other Danville upgrades that we've tried so far. Because it's basically me building a library, essentially. Um, the whole storyline behind this particular plot of land here in Danville is Jack wanted to build a library for me. And I was very appreciative of that until he decided to not finish it. So it kind of more or less became a meme here on Danville that Jack never finished this library, so we left it unfinished. So today, I'm going to be finishing it. Finally, five years later, we're actually gonna finish up this library. So um, again, since, since it actually isn't a completed build, there's not a whole lot for me to go off of. So I'm really gonna try to just basically build a library today. Uh, but I will try to make some subtle references to at least what Jack was going for and uh you know just some of the things that he has here so far so in terms of like the shape i'll probably try to keep it this way make it a rectangle kind of have these extra parts of the wall coming out with some glass um i guess he was trying to do some like columns here or something like that out in front i'm, I'm really not sure what he was trying to do with this and when i asked him he really didn't know either so <laughs> he said he was trying to build the library of alexandria I, i'm not seeing it uh, honestly i'm not seeing it but Hey, you know, it's Jack. He, he was trying his best to help me out in Danville, so I can appreciate him for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have a red carpet pretty much running right down the middle, so I'll try to reference that at least once uh, on the library that I'm about to build. I'll try to use sandstone. I'll try to use regular stone. Um, and other than that, though, I think I'm pretty much going to go up on my own with this thing, and it's going to go from the unfinished library by So Many Flamingos to the finished library by Dan Lags. So... With all that being said, guys, I think I'm ready to get started with the building, so without further ado, let's get started. And with the power of magic, we have got ourselves a brand new build. So guys, it once was the unfinished library by So Many Flamingos, now it is the finished library by Dan Lags. However, I did give Jack some credit here, the finished library, So Many Flamingos, Dan Lags. I gave him some credit because he started all, I just came in and finished what he started. But here it is, guys. This is what I ended up building. I went ahead and used sandstone and stone like I said I was going to do. I did make some some small references to what Jack created on the interior, which we'll show in a second. Um, and I tried to keep r the relatively same shape. I went with like a rectangle theme for this build. But other than that, I pretty much went on my own with this. So this is really not more of it. It's not really a Danville upgrade. It's more of just kind of like a, you know, a new build in Danville. This is like a Danville tour. So uh, this is what I came up with. I actually ended up expanding this thing in the back a little bit. So I did reduce the size of this garden plot right behind the library. Uh, just made it a little bit smaller. But I, I wanted to make sure I kept that just because, I don't know, it's just a, a part of Danville. I didn't want to just delete it for no reason. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we got here, guys. I built a little bell tower in the top. When I finished the roof, it just looked kind of bland and uninteresting. So I thought adding a bell tower at the top would, you know making it more interesting and i think it definitely does uh from this angle right here is where i really like it i think it looks good with the bell tower just kind of standing on the top of it and uh fun fact now with the bell tower if you stand on the very top of it this is actually the second tallest building in danville believe it or not it is taller than the mineplex industries over there as well as uh the original tower that jack built way over in the beginning of town right over there the one with the orange and the black wool so Believe it or not, this is the second tallest building, of course, to <laughs> the apartment building that we did for last episode's upgrade. But, yep, like I said, another uh, one of Jack's builds has now been upgraded and completed. And uh, I guess we're pretty much ready to take the tour in the interior here of the finished library here in Danville. So let's go ahead and check it out. I went with some columns out front. It's kind of like the theme I went for. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out in the exterior. So let's take a look at the interior here. We'll walk you guys through it real quick. Obviously, here right here is my reference to Jack's build with the red carpets. I went with some uh, red, I believe that's just red um, concrete powder, I believe, uh, instead of using the wool, just to mix it up a little bit. It's a newer block. So right here, we have the security scanner. So when you come in, obviously, or I guess if you leave or come in, whatever, you know, you walk out of there with a library book that hasn't been checked out, you're in, you're in big trouble. Those alarms are going to go off. So built those in. 
and just basically spam this place with library and bookshelves essentially you know that's pretty much what i did for the interior um right over here we have the reception area so they got some filing cabinets some and some chairs back here behind the desk that's where you would check out your books and everything like that uh here on the first floor though i did build computer stations so had a little bit of a hard time with this just because the paintings here in Danville are uh, maxed out. So I had to kind of be a little bit more creative with it. So I went with uh, four, I guess, block monitors. Uh, so those old block monitors. And uh, I went ahead and used a uh, cobblestone wall in the center of it, kind of representing the four computer towers behind it in the center of the table. I feel like, I've, I feel like most libraries haven't upgraded their technology, so it would make sense that they still have like the block monitors. So I have those uh, symmetrical uh, on both sides of the first floor here. And then you can go up the staircase uh, on both sides. Again, the staircases are also symmetrical from one side to the other. And you can come up to the second level where basically we have all the books. I put just tons of bookshelves up here. I also put some small sitting areas for people who maybe want to come here and just quietly read or study or something like that. So I have some tables for, you know, those types of people. Uh, I decided to build kind of like a open space in the middle here with a balcony on all four sides with some chandeliers coming down. This is definitely my favorite part of the interior. thought this turned out really good. And then right over here on the other side, uh, these are the bathrooms, the men's and women's bathrooms. We'll just skip those. You know, you guys have seen me build bathrooms before. And then again, same thing on the other side over here, just more bookshelves and sitting areas and the staircase on the other side. So that's pretty much it for what I did with the library. Obviously, it doesn't have everything I would ever need. I would like some more back rooms, probably just make it larger in general. But I tried to keep it to the same shape that Jack started and fit the space the same. So, uh, you know, obviously it could be a lot bigger, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I really like this library. I think it fits Danville perfectly. And uh, I'm really, really uh, happy overall. With this, uh, with this upgrade. I think it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a different take on an upgrade. You know, obviously, pretty much just build my own thing. Really didn't have a whole lot to reference like I usually do. So that's what made it fun. Made it a little bit unique from the previous ones. And I enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching. It's been Dan Lags. Uh, let's go for 400 likes for another Danville upgrade. I have some good ideas for the next one. I'm thinking maybe even the Wawa. Or wait, is this a Wawa or a Rite Aid? Rite Aid. Maybe the right aid right across the street, we can we can upgrade this baby because this thing definitely looks a little outdated. And I also have some other ideas as well, so maybe I'll surprise you guys with the next upgrade. So, uh, again, guys, thank you for watching this upgrade here in Danville. I believe this is like maybe our 10th or 11th one, so we've been really uh, hammering away at this series. It's one of my favorite series to make for you guys. So, with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the upgrade. Hope you guys like the library, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.